Rhonda Myers has been waiting for this day for five years. In fact, she's one of the reasons it arrived at all. And every time I would move somewhere, it wouldn't be accessible. I either couldn't get in the bathroom or barely could get in the kitchen. Fed up, she filed a housing discrimination complaint with the feds in 2011. Joined by other residents, the NAACP and a housing nonprofit, it alleged Baltimore County practices created, reinforced and perpetuated residential segregation. And today, after years of negotiations, Baltimore County and HUD announced they finally struck a deal. The significance of this agreement cannot be underestimated. The county will spend $30 million over 10 years to develop 1,000 affordable housing units, a mixture of new and existing construction. The agreement is very clear that um, we are to do what we can and, uh, to encourage the construction of low-income housing, but the county was not going to build its own housing. Is it a perfect agreement? No, there is no such thing as a perfect agreement, but it's a start. Its goal, to increase low-income housing in high-opportunity areas like Towson and White Marsh, 116 census tracts, according to the document. Most of the county, it's a suburban county, it's a fairly well-to-do affluent county. Uh, it's overall a high-opportunity county, so most of the county is eligible. And at least one-third of the units will be accessible and made available to people with disabilities. It felt good to just be able to help others, you know, me as well as others. The deal also requires the county executive to submit legislation to the county council that would prohibit discrimination based on so-called source of income. Reporting live from Towson tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.